Okay, Daniel, I'm doing a quick video for you so you can see we're, we're having some work done here, uh, which is to level the garden. Now you can see the neighbor's fence down there, which we'll come to in a moment. But this is our main entrance into the courtyard. I think it's important that you know the exact setup. So I'm gonna video this and take you through to show you how important the other entrance is as well. So when we go through here, naturally you're gonna get into our courtyard. And there's the other entrance, which was also built in 1881 when the farm was established so you can see it's always been used because they had sacks and everything going up and down it gives full access to the rear of the farm now we are having a water pipe put in at the moment so that's why we have a hole here but this is the other driveway and we're now underneath that big apex that you can see in the photo that you questioned. So that's looking back into the courtyard. And this is where the neighbor has put the fence. So when we go down this drive, you can see the fence there. And it's made it impossible for lorries to turn in because our splay has gone. With this is the view you have when you come to a car. And it's only when you come out onto the road that you can see. So again, there's the neighbors. There's the old splay that we used to have. There's his fence. And you can now see the apex of that building, which has been there from day one. And of course, as you go down there, that leads into the car park at the rear. I hope this video makes it clear so you can fully understand why it's imperative we have this access for larger vehicles. I'll take you around actually. So when you go down here, so we're going down from where the fence was erected. This is where the lorries come down to empty cesspits, to deliver goods and to deliver oil etc so you can see that that's a wide open turning space for lorries that can't currently get down here or tractors with trailers thank you for watching